The recent awarding of flights to Cuba to six U.S. airlines is just one more sign that U.S.-Cuban relations are evolving. Among those watching the development closely, a pair of ballet dancers who left Cuba years ago and now perform in the United States. Hendrik Sabrandi reports from Colorado. Josvani Ramos lives and breathes ballet, even though his work on stage is still months away. You start your day with a ballet class. And it's what gets your body ready for the day. Dancers, you know, our bodies are our instruments. 36-year-old Ramos learned his craft in his native Cuba at the renowned Cuban National Ballet School. He fled Cuba in the late 1990s and has lived and performed all over the world since then. So I think he has made a cocktail, you know, out of, out of the dancer that I am. But his heart remains in Cuba, where at long last, change is in the air. You know, I think it was time for a change, and I think a lot of more things are even going to uh, keep changing. It's a big hope. We are still hoping. It's been nearly 13 years since Luis Valdez defected during a Cuban ballet tour of the U.S. October 1st, 2003. I never forget that. Ramos and Valdez both dance for the Colorado Ballet now. Like many who grew up in Cuba, they've watched the transformation of the island from a distance. This past March, they saw something on TV that was quite startling. The U.S. president was in Havana. For those who experienced years of tensions between the two countries, it was almost unimaginable. I think if, if anybody could have done it, it was Obama. It was the, exactly the right time. I was at home with my wife sitting in the couch. I was so emotional, man. And I'm sure many people like me in Cuba were like me crying because we've been waiting for this moment for many, many years. Valdez believes President Obama's visit was symbolically important, but he says much work remains to be done in Cuba. I can wait for the change to happen. They're excited, and everybody in my country is excited about it. Ramos says the U.S. has much to learn from this new relationship, an emphasis on the arts being won. Neither man is allowed to dance professionally in Cuba, but Ramos believes that day could well come. That would be something really special. I probably would be extremely uh, nervous. A new season is just around the corner for these dancers and for a place that two of them, in some ways, still consider home. It's different. It's beautiful. Henrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.